I just received this uh, Bibor 23 quart uh, car refrigerator. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I got this from Amazon and again this is not a uh, paid ad I bought it for myself I've had a lot of coolers in the past and I even bought that uh, 12 volt cooler and it doesn't didn't really work out for me that thing just keeps on running for like 24 by 7 and the, um, the drinks inside I mean, they're cold, but not as cold as I want it to be. So I got this. There you go. Let's, let's take it out of the box. Here you go. This is the Bibor 23 quart car refrigerator. Uh, on this side, you're gonna see the control. And open it up, it opens on the side. It's got this nice bowl chain, keep it from falling to the back. And it's got a ice cube tray. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use this, uh, but it's not bad, look. I just wanna keep my, keep all my drinks, Cold. I mean, really cold, not freezing, so I'm not going to use it for freezing uh, my food, but I might, might try just to make sure that this thing is working. So I got different cables in here, so let's see what I got. Okay, so this is just to plug it directly to an AC outlet. Of course, you need the power brake. All right, and this is a 100 to 240 volt, 1.5 amps. So, and you got the car adapter and a manual that you people really, really reads. And there's a drain, drain plug in here, in case you got this thing, uh, freezes up, there's a lot of ice build up, and you want to drain it. The thing with this uh, freezer, or refrigerators, is that you do lose a lot of space, compared to the uh, regular cooler, or you know, a cooler that's similar size. But you can see the sides are thick and it's got this um, metal much like some of the fridge that you see but at the bottom what you get is actually plastic next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it on leave it on for a bit and then let's see how long it takes to uh, cool up I got it side by side by my Iglo cooler. This one is a, let's see, 40 quart. And if I open this up, you can see that's the inside. And, and you can see the inside of the car refrigerator. It's time to plug this thing in. And then the outlet is on the side. So let's plug it in. As you can 
C, I got power, and let's see what's that temperature. Uh, anyway, this is inside the house, and the temperature inside the house is about 22 degrees because I got my air conditioning on. So, I got 20, 20 degrees, 21. So, there's 21 degrees in there now. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna try to figure this thing out without looking at the manual. So what do you do? Um, this thing normally would be settings. So I'm gonna go with settings. Oh, can I turn it on? Oh, there you go. First thing that I'm gonna do is I wanna find the, uh, find the settings for, okay, see max, eco mode, Again, max, eco mode, and then hmm, nothing's happening. Eco mode. I wonder what else I can do with this. So, I'll press this. Okay, there you go. Now, three, two, one, Fahrenheit, zero. And this is full lock. Now, okay, I guess I have to look at the manual. I want to find out how to change this from Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, if it even has that. See, E six channel guidelines. Let's see if there's anything in here. Yeah, you could change it to adjust the temperature. So, but how do you do that? Temperature, unit setting, cooling mode. Uh, okay, see, you have this degrees Celsius and the degrees Fahrenheit, but how do you switch the fridge? Okay, it says here, okay, temperature unit setting. Okay, so switch out the fridge. Press long, long press, so switch it off. So switch it off, uh, switch it off. Oh, it's locked. Okay, that's how to lock it, in, actually in here. Oh, oh turn it off. Okay, that's off. All I have to do is long press on the settings. There you go. It says E1. Now, the setting. Oh. Okay. Oh, E2. E3. Okay, I'm gonna make sure setting sorry cooling mode let's change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, it says here turn it off. I let it turn it off. You just have to do a long press on the far far button and then you have to press the settings until you get to E5 and then all you have to do is select Celsius and that's it. It's at Celsius right now. When I turn it back on, I got it at Celsius. It says 18 degrees. Remember a while ago we took temperature and it says about 21. Well, let's see. No, 
it's a 21. So this thing it says 18, but the actual temperature is 21. Oh, 20, 21. So you got to keep that in mind when setting up the temperature. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the temperature that I want and leave it for a few minutes. Oh, it's locked again. But to unlock it, there you go. And I'm going to set it up. Minus 20. No, no, no. No, I don't. I don't really want it that cold. Now, remember there's a difference at about 3 degrees. And what we want, what we want to do is put it just that cold. I don't want it ice cold. So I got it at 2, 2 degrees. And what else do I need to do? And I guess that's it. Uh, this thing is already running. And again, it's back on lock mode. So I guess that's automatic. And that's fine. It's, it's not hard to unlock. I don't know. Is it running now? Well, I can tell you it, it is running. Look, 20. But it's getting colder. It's, it's now cold to the touch. Ooh. It is cold to the touch. I can tell you that. I can tell you that it's, it's cold to the touch. So let's close it. It's about 223. And we'll see how long it takes to uh, get to a more comfortable temperature. And by comfortable, I mean it means it's cold for me to drink it. The thing that you want to do when uh, this is connected to your car is set up the uh, battery protection mount. And how you're going to do that is first unlock it and then press the settings until you get the mode in here there you go so I'm gonna change it to high it's not connected to the battery right now but that's just how you change it and then leave it like that and there you go it's already on high protection now the other thing is fridge I'm gonna do that now it's been two minutes and this thing is already at 18 degrees from 21 a while ago I know we shouldn't be doing this opening it up but I just want to see I'm a very impatient guy hmm. it's not changing that much on well, my gun at least but yeah I can tell you it's getting really cool okay let's leave it alone let it cool and then we'll be back we'll be back setting up the uh, have on this thing and told me to press the settings button and that's what I did this thing is amazing it took about 22 minutes to go from 21 degrees to zero degrees so I really can't complain I'm gonna start bringing this in my day trips and see how it you know how it performs under the uh, temperature inside a car Normally in this summertime, you get about 40 degrees inside the car. Instead of here at home, I have my air conditioning on and it's a constant 22 degrees inside the house. Open it up. One of the things I didn't show a while ago, it, this thing has a light. So I, I, I really love that. And wow, that is cold. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I either this thing is not working properly it says here 15 degrees this is not 15 degrees this is much colder than 15 degrees so this thing is not working properly but I got it at zero degrees I am happy and there you go because I opened it up the temperature went up again so initial impression it's not bad for the price I mean there's a lot of uh, fridge out there, car fridge out there that are, would cost you about 800 
this thing is just about just a little bit about 200 in Canadian dollars so I'm not really gonna complain I mean I, I could buy the good ones that are under a thousand but I really don't need that I mean I just need to make sure that when I'm outside my drinks are really cold and, and that's about it and at the same time I don't have to deal with water inside the cooler one thing that I like about this is let me see sorry about that here see how my fingers are inside that handle the other ones that I saw it's it's shallow so it's hard it's hard to it's like this so it's hard to get a grip on it but this one my fingers are really in there so it's, it's gonna be easy for me to carry before I go let me just show you the uh, outer dimensions of this thing okay the outer dimension here it's about 11 11 inches and the width let's see is about 22 22 inches oh 21 point 21 and a half hey what are you doing keep it at zero degree you know what humor me I'm gonna put it down to minus two so again the the width is about 21 and a half and the height is about about 12 oh 13 sorry about 13 inches and it is very quiet I, I like that it's very quiet and I don't feel much okay, coming out here so I made a mistake a while ago with this manual let me show you I'm looking at here when I should be looking here oh well goes to show I don't really like reading manuals unless I had to so, this one has an app an app that I've used I'm gonna show you a picture of the app it's it's not really hard to uh, set up once you download it and open it up and then connect it all you have to do is press this setting and it will connect instantly it did in with my case in my case it just connected instantly so it's very easy to use and it's very easy to uh, set things with the app instead of fiddling with this controller and I hate to fiddle with this controller and later on break it there's a USB here so USB charger I don't I don't really need to use that but it's there just in case that you need it so it's a good thing that there's something in there and again there's your cable our cable and this again this is Bbor it is a 20 23 quart there are newer models but they have a bulk in here this way and that allows you to uh, put in you know taller items inside I don't really want that I want something in here because what I do is I usually put this in between the seats so it also serves as a some sort of a table in between seats as well in my minivan and that's another review when I bring it to a road trip a day trip and I'm gonna connect it to my EcoPlo uh, River Pro so see you on that review okay Bye everyone.